what we did was we put medicine omissions at the centre of the framework and then worked around the different domains. So it was really important to keep going back to the different parts of the, the framework to look at why was the data changing and why were we not continuing to get improvement or conversely why were we getting improvement, was it because people were becoming much more reliable. The issue we had at hand was that we didn't believe our medicine round was as safe as it could be. The environment we were working in, the drug dispensary, was a very cramped environment. It didn't have any windows. You had two staff working in there with patients queuing at the door, not because they'd been asked to queue at the door, but it just naturally happened down a corridor. So in terms of past harm, we, we looked at collecting data in terms of how many emissions had been made, how many interruptions had staff um, had when they were doing the medicine round and what was the harm both to patients and staff by doing the medicine round the way we were currently doing it. We had a set of baseline data and we tracked that for a period of time. In terms of reliability, we looked at the different processes and discovered that staff did it in a very different way each time. So we didn't have an actual reliable process what we, we recognised that was that if we were going to change the drug round, we were going to have to be much better organised in terms of our actual medicine trolley itself. So there was a fair bit at the beginning of actually preparing the drug trolley so that you didn't have to keep going back and forward to the drug dispensary. So the way that we changed it was instead of patients coming and queuing at the drug dispensary the way they had been, that two staff would actually physically take the trolley to the individual patients' rooms and spend time with the individual patients there dispensing their medication on a, a very much a one-to-one -one basis. In terms of sensitivity to operations, that was about how we did it on a day-to-day -day basis. So we became much more sensitive to what was going on with the, the different patients on that, that shift. Looking at anticipation and preparedness, because of the way we changed the medicine round, we then had much better interaction with the patients and were actually able to predict how they were going to be through the day, anticipate any problems that might happen. The last part of it was really about integration and learning, and we weren't really doing any of that in the kind of current way that we were doing the medicine round. So it was really looking at all the different domains of the framework and trying to look at right what would be the different kind of things that we would want to do to address all these different parts of the framework in a totality so that we actually improved the overall safety of the medicine omissions. We believe we have made the medication round safer. We have now had no medicine omissions for 57 weeks. The framework has allowed us to really continue to examine are we continuing to do this properly.